because I'm the hero this Minecraft server deserves, but not the one it needs right now, so I'll be hunted, because I can take it, because I'm not a hero, I'm a silent guardian, a watchful protector over this Minecraft server, a dark night. Sorry, sorry about the uh, raspy voice. I had a bit of a cold, but I'm better now. Back to my old minor self. Anyway, I wanted to show you around uh, my girlfriend and I's Minecraft server and show you what we have created together. Having a creative outlet is important in everybody's life. Uh, having something you can say that you created on your own or together is uh, it just brings joy in life and this is something that I came up with the design for and build within Minecraft and uh, this over here is something that uh, Cherie came up with the design for and built on her own. Uh, we'll show that off first. What she's got is a couple villagers in here that will automatically harvest and plant carrots and wheat. And then they deposit it here in the chest. Then what we could do is take those things, put them in this chest right here, and they will be transported all the way over to the barn. So yeah, to this little auto transport system. We've got a lot of things going on here, a lot of different builds, a lot of different things we're creating together. That farm right there is just amazing. But uh, let's take a step inside here. These automatic doors that don't stay open very long. And what we've got here is our animals of the farm. We got cows over here, and pigs, and then chickens, and sheep. These guys are automatic. As they grow up, they can either lay eggs or give off cooked meat. See the little lava there? That'll cook them right up. Same concept goes over here for the pigs. Uh, what we do is go along here, feed the pigs. They make the baby pigs and then once they're grown up, we hit this button, and they are cooked right up. Same for, goes for the cows. It's just awesome. And the sheep. So yeah, this is... Uh, Something that we created together, uh, worked on together, and see all those items from the farm, they get transported over here. Uh, this is going to be 
a lot more storage, a lot more things going on. Um, doors are automatic. That's another nifty thing I built in here. And also this secret passage over to here. This will be a storage area for more stuff. Uh, kind of a larger version. Oh, that's, just, that's just so cool. I love that. Uh, this is a sorting center. It'll sort out all the different types of meat from beef, pork chops, pork chops, mutton, and then other stuff. So there's all kinds of uh, redstone and circuitry and Minecraft electronics underneath these floors. I uh, won't get into all that, but uh, it took a while. But it's totally rewarding to create something such as this, and it's, it's still evolving. It's still working on it. It's still working on different things within this server, uh, different farms we're planning. A fishing farm, boat dock uh, over there. We've got kelp farms going. Um, let's see what else do we have? Cherie's Fish Aquarium, which is a what did she call this thing? Erlenmeyer flask. For all you chemists, she's. Uh, Oh, wow, she's doing a lot of things over here. Villager Trading Center. Uh, there in the distance, you can see our good friends Charlie and Lorena. Um, they've got their own base there within the server. We invited them, and uh, they haven't been on here in a while. Where are you guys at? There's lots of stuff going on now. So yeah, I've also got this I'm building, and uh, it's a work in progress. A couple of mushrooms, mushroom things going on. Animals all around. This right here is a, uh, well, monsters just, let's just say monsters drop down, and we can kill them really. There we go. Kill them real, real easy and collect all their stuff. That's another little nifty thing we've got there. Uh, this will shoot out lapis or enchantment. Uh, what else we got back here? Oh, another hub. Still working on that. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. So yeah. I uh, started this with Sheree and we're continually creating uh, different things. Different things within the server and uh, what I what originally inspired me to do this was a group of people called Hermits. Uh, they run a server called Hermitcraft. You may have seen it in the beginning of the video. And uh, what they do is far, far beyond this. And I just want to show you a little of what they do. So let's just warp on over there. And we're here. This is the area I first showed you at the beginning of the video. And um, this one right here was built by uh, Cubfan135. He's on the Hermitcraft server. And this is a passageway, a black hole of sorts, he created to go through the nether hub 
that he created here. Uh, we'll just walk on through here and check out what he created. Uh, it's just completely and totally amazing what this guy can do. Uh, this he created all in survival. Everything you see here all in survival mode. Not creative mode, but survival mode. Uh, these different portals go to different areas within the world uh, and it's just completely amazing. This is what you see on the floor. The galaxy was created with different carpet pieces all while trying to survive and not get killed. So yeah, it's it's completely amazing what he's done here and we're gonna warp on over here to another one this here is impulse sv i believe and his base what he has created and uh i mean it might look small now in comparison to what the complete build looks like but if you just walk on out here you can see the size and scope of this entire base. All these things, again, created in survival Minecraft. It's just incredible what these guys can do. And we'll jump off here. Wow, just look at all that, all that built. It's just crazy, amazing. Wow. Unbelievable. Now this, this world right here is perhaps the most amazing one of all. And it's really hard to show you everything that this entails. And it's also hard to show you exactly what it looks like during the day, the Minecraft day anyway. Uh, it's basically the nether brought to the main world humongous base built by Tango Tech uh, just crazy crazy big uh, it's it's an island in its own and uh, if you're into Minecraft I strongly suggest you go and check these guys out uh, the Hermacraft is in season 6 all these worlds I'm showing you are from season 5 and They're just a couple months in, and yeah, this was season five, and we'll jump again, and of course, die. So the last world I want to show you, the last base I want to show you, is from Exuma. Uh, this thing is incredible. Everything built within this huge base under a volcano. It's, there's just so much to see, so much to see in this world. Uh, again, this is Minecraft, Hermacraft, Season 5. Uh, I got it from a world download. You can go and download and explore these worlds. You can't do much. Just walk around and take a look at different things. And, uh, yeah, it's just check out what they have built uh, it's just incredible what you can create in Minecraft in a survival Minecraft no less these guys do everything in survival not in creative and speaking of survival I have an artist friend Byron Rimple and he is surviving from day to day just creating things. So I'd like to show you a little of that. This here is a zombie miner. He's uh, drew for me and it's totally amazing. I love it. Uh, he draws daily just to survive and I strongly, strongly suggest you. He's an amazing artist with his own sense of style. Uh, totally unique and it's just awesome I've got several pieces of his artwork this right here uh, speaking of creativity is something that I'm working on my own little zombie miner 
I'm inspired by Byron a lot and I picked up a digital drawing to try and again be more creative uh, this is going a little slow uh, I'm taking myself turn myself into a zombie miner and uh, I'll get it done uh, like I said whatever it is whatever you want to create do that and uh, it can be any creative outlet whether it's Minecraft or drawing or anything just do what you love and create something to be proud of create something that gives you a sense of worth lastly what I want to show you here is another creative outlet I have is painting miniatures I did this a lot in high school and recently picked it back up and uh, I'm enjoying it also so yeah just find a creative outlet find something that you enjoy and do that whether it's drawing painting Minecraft whatever it is do that and enjoy it that is it for minor thoughts here on the Minecraft server. Uh, the Coffee Tech video is coming up. Don't worry, I, I haven't given up on that. Coffee Tech is coming up. And it's gonna be a fun one, trust me. So that is all for now here on Minor Thoughts. Uh, go out and create something and enjoy it. Bye.